Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. So in today's After Effects tutorial, we are going to see a basic but a very cool looking cards animation in Adobe After Effects. So first of all, let's preview that what we are going to create. So this is a basic but a very colorful and eye catching cards animation that we are going to do in Adobe After Effects. In this, if we just uh, look at it, then uh, we can see that there are these various colored cards that are just uh, adding over here. They are just coming and then there is a text which is being formed and it is also um, of a multicolor. Then it changes its color back to a white. So this can be used for any kind of text or a logo reveal animation if you want. So let's see that how can we create it. First of all, you have to go to composition to create a new composition. Now I'm naming it cards animation, but you can name it anything that you want. It's totally up to you over here. Now keeping a frame rate of 30 frames per second and a duration of five seconds, I choose a background color to be of a dark gray, just like this and hit OK. Just create a new solid layer and this will act as a background. So name it as BG and change a dark gray color uh, just like this ash gray color for this now just lock this layer the next thing that we are going to do is create a new solid layer and name it as card one now choose any color that you want i'm choosing a yellow color for this purpose uh, just like this and hit ok now once you have got your solid layer what we are going to do is go to the span anchor tool and get this anchor point uh, to this particular position over here now you can just uh, press s to bring up scale and change the scale value to a 250 percent so it would be looking just like this now what we are going to do is um, change its zoom percentage back to a fit and hit R to bring up rotation change the rotation angle to a minus 95 degrees uh, so that your layer is not visible at all keyframe it move forward by a few frames uh, in time change the value of rotation back to a zero degrees move forward again by a few frames in time and change the value of rotation back to a 90 degrees so that it is not visible anymore if we just preview our animation then it looks just like this which is pretty cool to look at so select these layers and hit f9 to easy ease them now what we are going to do is just duplicate this card layer and uh, offset it by a few frames in the timeline and uh, we are just going to change its color so make sure that your uh, card layer is selected go to layer solid settings and here you can just change the color uh, this time i'm using a green color just like this and hit OK. So if you just preview your animation like this. And it is pretty cool. If you want, you can just um, offset it by a few frames in time so that the distance, this distance that is occurring between these two layers is minimized just like this. OK, so this is looking good to me. And now you got to uh, duplicate these layers again and again change their colors and offset them by a few frames in time until you are happy with your animation so i'm gonna duplicate it once more go to layer solid settings and change its color to um blue uh, this time then offset it by a few frames in time if you want you can just zoom in uh, in your animation and you can see that uh, you have offset the first layer by uh, how much time so it is around um three frames in time so this next layer would be starting at six frames so you gotta offset it at six frames like this now this is what we are going to do uh, repeatedly so just duplicate this topmost layer once again go to layer solid settings change its color uh, from here this time i'm choosing this uh, purplish pink color and offset it by three frames in time 
and then again duplicate it go to layer solid settings and this time i'm choosing a light red kind of color offset it to around 12 frames in time so if we just go to the very first frame and preview our animation it looks like this which is pretty cool and this is exactly that we wanted for cards so what we are going to do is uh, go back to the very first layer and uh, we are going to add a drop shadow to it so for that what we are going to do is go to effects and presets and search for an effect called drop shadow apply it uh, onto your uh, solid layer like this and uh, here you got to change a few settings okay so uh, these are the values that i am happy with with an opacity of 81 percent a 160 degree angle distance of 25 and a softness of 48 now what we are going to do is just copy this effect and paste it onto all these layers like this now if we just go back to the very first frame and preview our animation now what we're going to do is select all of these layers and pre-compose them together and uh, i'm going to name them card so if we just go back to the frame where this animation of cards is being completed now what we are going to do is add in our text so grab onto the text tool and type in any text that you want i'm typing a simple hi but uh, you can just type in any text that you want and as per your choice now for this text i have uh, chosen this is small caps option once you're happy with your text, make sure to align it to the center both horizontally and vertically. Then pre-compose this text and name it as text again. Now press S to bring up the scale and uh, move back to the frame where this animation is uh, completing. So. At this frame this animation is completed so change the value scale to a 0% uh, move forward to the very next frame and change the value scale to a hundred percent so this would be the animation the slight animation where this text would be appearing just like this okay now what we are going to do is uh, grab on to this rectangle tool make sure that none of the layers are selected and for a uh, fill choose a solid type and uh, just take a color like this click ok and draw a rectangle now go to effects and presets and search for an effect called turbulent displace apply it onto this layer change the amount or uh, just increase the amount a little bit and decrease the size so i'm giving an amount of uh, 128 and a size of 41 uh, press P to bring up the position change its position just like this keyframe the value of position move forward a few frames in time and change the value of position so that it covers the text fully next what we are going to do is uh, just duplicate this layer offset it by a few frames uh, in time and change its fill property uh, just choose any other color that complements with the color that you have chosen first so I'm choosing uh, this kind of color a bluish kind of color like this and uh, you can just offset it by a very few frames in time so uh, this is what I'm happy with you can just duplicate this layer again offset it again uh, and this time I'm going to choose a kind of a red color and hit ok so offset it like this okay you can just select these three layers go to pre-compose and uh, generate a pre-composition out of them uh, bring it just below your uh, text layer and change its track mat to alpha mat text so if we just preview our animation It looks like this which is a very subtle effect if you just see it 
and uh, you can just go back to your pre comp layer, uh, duplicate it once more, and uh, offset it by a few frames in time, and change its fill to a pure white color. So, if we just go back to our composition, main composition, and preview our animation once again, then this is uh, what we have got, and this is exactly that we have wanted. So this is how our text animation or the cards animation plays out and I hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below and keep watching the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge for more such tutorials. Till then, goodbye.